Guys, welcome back to our little mini-series on uh, the Epic Flash. Uh, really the first driver we've had in of, of the 2019 yes. offerings of the kind of companies that we <coughs> will have moving forward. That's right. So, you know, we're going pretty deep with this today. We are. Um, part of it, I think it'll be nice to get people's feedback about, we had the idea to sort of go a little bit more, I guess, in depth with each product release. Mm -hmm. I think in 2018, we made videos about every product release, but we yeah. kind of just made one. Right. Um, so this time we've tried to split it up. We did an initial test. We've compared it to last year's model. Mm -hmm. uh, now we're going to do a fit with Alan um, yeah. with the Flash. So trying to get a little bit more of a total view, I guess, of a product. Yeah. Um, so we'll, we will be looking for your feedback on kind of if that's more valuable than what we used to do. Yeah, exactly. And, and obviously, guys, like we've mentioned before, the reason we're going down this line with it is, um, you know, Alan is right where... The, the, the track man stats, the GC quad stats, mm. tell us the average male golfer sits at yeah. from you know, a, a speed standpoint. So yeah. 94 miles an hour, 140 miles an hour, Alan's a fraction quicker than that. Uh, those are track man club speed measurements. Mm. So, um, so I would say 97, 140 is probably about bang on okay. uh, on GC quad numbers. So Alan's your 101, 145 ball speed kind of guy, hits it really solid. Um, I, I don't think I would be, I wouldn't be, uh, wouldn't be dissing you by saying you're a bit of an overachiever with the driver in the sense that you get a lot out of it. <laughs> and you are because, yeah, you, you know, like two, hour, two hour, two hour, 2.7 yards per mile an hour of club head speed. I mean, you've hit three balls warm up there and they're all about 270. Yeah, he does. You're swinging at 100 miles an hour. Yeah. You're at the 2.7 yards per one mile an hour of club head speed. You're right where we call optimal. Mm -hmm. So you're, you're a great tester for this stuff. Um, now over, t yeah, it's great. It really is going to be good over time. You know, I, it'll be good to work with some players that are non-optimal. <coughs> so yeah, definitely. You know, Al's not a troublesome driver fit. True. Because he's you, the way you swing. You're again, you know, just analysing the way you swing. You're more of a troublesome iron fit True. than you are uh, yes, a is. troublesome yeah. you know driver fit because you're fairly shallow and your angle attack. So. Um, you know, we won't see much of a problem sure. here. So that being said, we're going to go through, essentially if Al had come in, he's mm -hmm. into a uh, new product as he actually is. Mm -hmm. he yeah, says, needs Ian, a new driver. Yeah, needs, needs a new, new driver. driver. He said, yeah, yeah. you know, Ian fit me to an epic flash. Yep. Not starting with anything, we're going to do it from scratch. Definitely. Um, we're going to go through the process of taking him into, you know, head configuration, yep. loft, one of these beautiful shafts back here, yep. and just take him through the, the usual Usual deal. So we're trying to get you out your big Bertha Warbirds at the <laughs> <laughs> Steelhead. Steelhead. Oh, Steelhead. Titleist yeah. 975. Sorry, 1998, not 97. Oh, dear. All right. Um, so do you want to make a, I know you've seen Al hit shots. Yeah, seen Al hit some shots. Do you want to make a little setup? Um, talk us through it, what you think you would start him with, yeah. loft-wise and, mm -hmm. and shaft-wise, and then we'll get some baseline numbers. Let's do that. Let's do Perfect. exactly that. So um, we've grabbed Epic Flash 10.5. Non sub zero version, yep. standard version is fine for Alan. Likely he will not need the ridiculous spin reduction no, that head has. No, he won't because uh, with Alan's swing, he hits up and at about five, six degrees, mm -hmm. doesn't add a significant amount of loft, so this should be just about fine. Perfect. Um, we've went with the, the Fujikura Pro 2.0 uh, standard version. Mm -hmm. um, a really nice shaft for picking up a little bit of. Um, acceleration, um, okay. so the shaft, so that would be you know shaft recovery. Mm. Um, so it's it, we tend to see some really quick ball speeds. So out of this you're thing. trying to help him get a little bit more pop out of it, a little bit gotcha. more jump out of it, because we know w with Al that the task is always to beat 270. Right. If we can beat 270, we're in sure. really good shape. But he's a good example of most fits. Mo oh, I shouldn't say most. A lot of people come in, as you say, no one wants to hit the ball shorter than they've been hitting it. And ideally, they want to pick up some distance. Yeah. And, and if you can throw in some consistency there, then you've kind of got a winner. Without a doubt. All right. Smooth. Uh, Alan's got a smooth tempo. Mm. No, it's not, not overly kind of jumpy or aggressive. So that's for something, sure. that <laughs> as, uh, something that as he kind of transitions on the downswing, yeah. that will actually load quite comfortably oh, without okay. overdoing it. So you need something that can yeah. load a little bit because yeah. he's not pushing on it. Exactly. Interesting. All right. Let's see it, Al. Ready, boys? Yep, please. All right. Nice. Nice. It's a lovely shape. Here she comes. If 
that goes 270, are we going to cut the camera and call yeah, it a day? Just be, just it is going to go 270. Oh, oh no! <laughs> we got a video. What was that? Optimized dial. That's crazy. 2260. That's come on. That's nice. Thanks that for coming nice. in, Al. Something like that. Do that again. Yes, please. Sugar. Got a little bit closed on that. Yeah, I mean, it, this is good to see, Al. I mean, this is... These are uh, the misses that mean more to us than the good ones, in all honesty. Sure. Yeah. It's, it's, you know, there you, you take that swing and you go, okay, I struck it actually in a better spot. Mm -hmm. you, your face angle relative to the target was, was fine, but it's a little bit shut to the path. <coughs> That's a lot of spin axis tilt that would tell us that that head shaft combination is not... Not, not good. perfect for you. And is this okay. not exactly what we saw when I was testing? It was. It? Exactly it was, the same yeah. thing. That looked good, Al. Yeah. A Push little compensation, bit. maybe, yeah. Al, for just. Yes. Uh, Try to hang on to it a bit. Okay. Show us one more with that. Okay. That looks really good. That Ooh. one felt a bit better. It's lovely. Whoa. Hit a That's going to go to today. That's go. A little bit of green speed help. Ooh, that is my Usain Bolt <laughs> tee shot. Usain Flash. <laughs> Good swing there. <coughs> okay, Al. Um, made a couple of quick changes. It looked quite easy to hit that last combination a little bit in the left side. Mm -hmm. uh, there wasn't much protection for you. And mm -hmm. one of the benefits, like Matt and I talked about earlier with our other reviews, with the, the, the rail system being on the back again, yeah. we have the ability to you know, keep that face open for a fraction longer, stabilize a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, from a strike perspective, you were straying out to the toe a little bit, so we yeah. know that moving the weight in line with the strike point, so the, the strike in the, the um, center of the mass mm -hmm. are in line, we do get more ball speed, we do get more stable ball flight. Cool. Okay. So, uh, so that's something we're looking for there as well. So let's, uh, let's see what we get with this. All right, here we go. Ooh, that's a good start. Holy sugar. It's, to me, it looked like much more sort of yeah, stable down the right. Yeah, yeah. curve. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be like that a lot. That's yeah, the shaft feels a bit more. Hmm. So you did make a shaft change. We'll let him hit a couple yeah. more before yeah. we talk about that. But try obviously, you know, and, and we do this with fittings. This isn't just something we're we're doing today. We we try not to influence the player hmm. too much with too much information. Yeah. All right, keep going, bud. Okay. Let's start. Oh dear. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I if, if, uh, went. It went pretty far. Yeah, it was. It? it was fine. Just, just the faces hung That's a little bit open. But, um, mm. Al, if, if you have had any of that, the kind of block and, and hook that we've talked about in the past with you, I think, goes away when you don't see the ball turning over mm. to the left as much. You know, you don't have to hang on to it quite as hard. Yeah, it's one of the things I've been trying to work, work on, and you know, Larry's been helping me, just trying to feel like I'm moving a bit more, getting to my front foot and yeah. staying more on top of it, so I can feel myself like this is, that's death for me. With you know all the baseball I've been kind of trying to enjoy, and anyway, I've been trying to work, keep on working on that. But yeah, it's always a work go. in progress. Mm -hmm. Like a better swing. High strike, Al? A little bit. I felt like I think I caught I'm a bit too here. much of the left side of the, no, that's the range here. I mean, for two miss hits, he got 270 out of both of them. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, good swing. Nice, Al. That's, that's what a real nice one will look like for yeah. you. I didn't, oh, I wouldn't really say like it overdrew by much. No, no, that's, that's nice. That's the one you set down the right hand side and, yeah. mm -hmm. and turn it back. That's really nice. um, yeah, that's that one. Spin and launchers are a bomb. Fantastic. It's a yeah. bomb. There's, I, like I mean, he's not going to hit it further than 285 at that club speed, you wouldn't think. Is that pretty close to mm -hmm. maxing out? We're seeing the, that speed spike a little bit as well. So the efficiency is pretty good. Speed is, is high. Mm -hmm. 
So tell us what you did with the shaft since he's hit a few and it yeah, seems to be helping. We took a, a little bit of weight <coughs> away um, okay. and in went a fraction stiffer in the tip section. So we've got 50 grams now? 55. 55, yeah, okay. 55. And the 400's used by Acra. Shoot. Okay, yeah. That one I tried to swing so it definitely made faster. some progress there, I would say. That would be, yeah, that's just... It's okay. Well, that was probably dumb, just not your best swing. swing. Let's trade you out. Okay. We're working on the right track of, we saw the couple go left, then we saw a couple go right. We've yep. learned enough from both to pretty much figure out right. what the middle ground looks like now. So would you say that, I know Alan may blame his swing for a couple of the pushes. Are you seeing something from that particular flight that you might want to adjust with yeah, the Yeah, I think you know, just the, the, the sheer fact that we, in a very short space of time, eliminated left, okay. encouraged right, as we were trying to, yep. is, is a good thing. Um, so, is that you doing what you often recommend, where you're sort of building on the extremes and then finding the middle? Trying to make it go as far right as possible, okay. then we can just it slide back. it back in. Interesting. Yeah. So that weight change that you made, you split it from neutral into fade. Yeah. Again, that's twice now. We saw it with my uh, test and now with Alan. That seems to be Quite making... Quite effective. It's good, right? Because there was a lot of people early on looked at the track and went, oh, it's not very big. You yeah. Know, the, the weight doesn't travel. You would, you would think it needed to go further towards the heel and toe. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> hmm. As soon as he hit that, I thought he had hooked it. Yeah. That's what I really, thought too. He didn't at all. It's <laughs> always this, this signature of a, a combo that's really good. You think it's going to be the bad one, and it's not. Interesting. I think I had the exact same thing to say about that. I thought he hooked it again, and it's dead straight. Okay, let's carry the good yeah. bit further as that well. Is. That one felt good. Oh, wow. Uh -oh. That's nice. Like, he's not swinging any faster. Uh, it's been very consistent, which is nice to see. Yeah. The ball speed has come up just making those little adjustments. It's really nice. Any concern with that spin so far being kind of sub 2000? It's not something that really we, we can kind of almost, you know, change that much when, right. when you're up as much as, as Al is on it. Um, and he did shape those slightly left, to be fair. Yeah, his angle, it's not like he's delivering low loft. Mm. Um, he's got the face closed a little bit there, so 18 for most players is about what I'm looking for. Okay. Uh, 17 loft. to 19 dynamic loft is about ideal. Right. Um, angle of attack, you know, between 6 and 7. Right. So we know Al hits up on it a lot. So from a spin loft perspective, we are always going to be dealing with low spin. Managing it probably right. is the best way to put it. Gotcha. It's a good swing, Al. Never get away from you too yeah. much either, Al. Like if nice. that's your push, that's not bad. There's tons of distance. 260 on the fly, that one. We know that's a long one uh, for you. That So a little spike in speed, a couple yeah, miles. Yeah. Yeah, but starting to enjoy it a little bit, maybe. Yeah. So that's it. the comfort level. You sense that he's kind of getting a little bit more comfortable yeah. with it. Yeah, yeah no, the weight, this, this combination really feels just as good as the last one. Yeah, you like both? Yeah. Let's see one more good one, then maybe we can okay. talk about what he's yeah. what he's got. Yeah, it's so good. The turn off fraction yeah. more. That's just the spin coming off a little bit there. Toe strike up? Huh? Yeah, a bit. Okay, let's hit one more then. Hold your head. Oh, that might go into canyon. <laughs> no, it's not bad. It's fine. It's yeah. very manageable. Ah, let me see it a little more, Al. That shaft feels good too, though. Yeah, that should feel a little smoother for you, that one. Then the, the Acre would feel nice, but maybe a fraction boardy. Mm. This one probably somewhere right between the two. So stable, but not as soft as the first one, um, and a little more active than the second one. That looked like a better swing. Just a hair open. Yeah. Let's tell oh. you what, it's the, it's the high launch low spinner, isn't it? It really is. Oh. Epic flash. 
That's way better than my old M M2. <laughs> oh my God. A couple of little changes here. Okay. Just you hit away with this open mind and just try and make it the best swing you can make, Al. Oh God. How did that stay in? My, wow. It's my really hand slipped a bit. Didn't end too. up being that bad. You just kind of <laughs> hit it high in the toe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for as bad a strike as that yeah. was, he really didn't. It's fine. Not a bad result. That's pretty forgiving. Yeah, Holy that sugar. is really forgiving. That's, better. that's holding the line better. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. That would feel good. Are you starting to feel any difference in that shaft versus the second one you tried? Yeah, the, the red one. This one, this one I feel I can turn over a bit more. And you need to be able to do that. Yeah, if you okay. don't, you, you'll really worry about that block to the right. And oh you God, start, yeah, okay. your, t your time and your swing will get out of sync, Al. If your shot shape doesn't appear as your swing, you know, delivery should, then you, you'll have some problems. So you're always in the toe with the strike. That's just that's where always where we see you. A little bit from the inside, face a little bit closed. Um, so we do turn it over, but if we can see that one there, 260, 280, it's, great. it's a lot, it's a lot yeah, to get out that. of it. With this combination, I've actually added a fraction more loft. Oh, shoot. Um, oh, that yeah, I added a fraction more loft and moved the weight more to the toe, so I'm kind of trying to stabilize it a little bit, raise the launch, raise the spin, but wow. protect you against the left side a little yeah, bit, right. which I think should That's be... Very cool. uh, be the nice balance. And the shaft that he's been hitting is this um, yeah. VA shaft's Raijin? The Raijin, um, which is very stable, but it is relatively active. Yeah. Uh, so for someone like Al, who isn't a heavy loader, this is a really nice, smooth profile. I tried it in the three wood mm -hmm. a couple months ago, and I thought it was really good yeah. too. It's got some kick to it. It does have some kick, but you kind of, the kick, you expect to almost see the ball be a little bit, you know, see a little bit more shape to it. Right, so it's, and, and it's it doesn't, still stable. It's very stable. So that's basically 11 degrees of loft then he's got? So no, because I had it down at 10. I, I did have it set fractionally open. Oh, okay. Uh, so now I've went weight more toe. So that's the thing that's stopping you overcooking the draw, but added the loft back in. So okay. it's, ten, it's dead on back 10 to 5, five. sitting bang neutral now. Gotcha. That's a good swing. Nice, Sal. How was that strike? That one felt good. Yeah, that was a really good shot. Uh oh, it's probably good. Probably your best shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's really interesting. That strike must be a misread. Yeah, but a um, misread. generally, just from my memory of all the videos we've done, usually when you change the face angle, mm -hmm. we see a way bigger difference in ball flight. This time, it seems more like the weight slider yeah. has made a bigger difference. Kind of simultaneous adjustment, wasn't it? Yeah. It was. It was kind of matching one to the other. So we we sacrifice because we know Al was was tugging a little bit left so we actually s straight uh, squared the face okay it was sitting open but we needed the loft because it was okay. a spin axis tilt that was actually causing the problem because it was overdrawn mm. and it wasn't so much that it was it was the the, the start line um, that was the problem it's just it was the the ability the ball's ability to see curve. that's really interesting because you've done the complete opposite of, of what i think someone would do mm -hmm. and i would have done the same thing they would open Go it open 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 to get the, the yeah. ball to start more right but yeah. then they lose all the loft yeah. and then the ball has no spin exactly. and it hooks yeah. so you've actually had to go about the opposite that's cool. you can fight the battle a couple of different ways but no, we just chose to do it with spin rather than without i think that's really interesting mm -hmm. what do you think of that driver there big guy this one's, it's very good. I could see um, him playing that exact yeah, combo right there. So. It feels is that, great. Is that about heads. as close to optimal as you it's can get? It's darn close. Yeah. For, for the way Alan loads it, this would, be, this would be a wicked combination for you. I think, yeah. I think given a little bit of time, I mean, you enjoyed your, you kind of grew into the combo after 10 minutes. Yeah, mm -hmm. Imagine what you'd be like after a few weeks, few months yeah. of gaming it. Uh, I think you'd really build some great confidence with it. Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, walking down your own fairway on the same hole is <laughs> your fantastic. own fairway and that's yeah. good well i mean we, we know you're mr 270 so <laughs> yes. we know it takes quite a bit <laughs> he's to mr that. 270 yeah. um, somebody else on youtube is mr 270 aren't they no sorry mr 262 262 maybe this year i was gonna have two hashtags maybe 280 this year all right show us one more good one to round it off al all right yeah that's a great swing like that one i felt a little bit it hung on to my yeah, face. Yeah, that's like, good. But it's still right edge of a green. It's just fine. 
could take that. I'll take that on the same hole. Yeah. Yes. Well struck. We just hung on to the face a yeah, fraction a too long. Awesome. Spun it a little more. Exactly what you would want to do in a, mm. on a, on a slight off centre one, just in order to keep the, the mist down. Gotcha. Awesome. Good. That was great. Yeah, Al, I mean, that's, that's going to be pretty close for you, that, buddy. It'll be interesting as the new heads roll in to see that's now the benchmark for you. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll see as M5, M6, G410, <coughs> F9, uh, as all those new heads roll in. You know, I'd be really curious to build upon this series I, I, and, and go, okay, that's the benchmark. Yep. Let's see if we can beat it. In kind of the same way that this has become my benchmark. Yeah, that's it. So we did that with my test earlier. We had some of these. We had some mm -hmm. of the new drivers. So our plan is... Pretty much with all the new product, I think I'll do some testing. Al's going to do some testing. Yeah. Give us kind of a range of swing speeds. Yeah. Um, so look for, you know, as we said, multiple videos yeah. for every project mm. or product release to kind of give us a bit more variety. Yeah. I guess a little more depth. Guys. No, thank you. Thanks, thank you, Al. Though. Appreciate it as always. It's, uh, I think you're a really, uh, really valuable addition to the test team. I think this is this is going to be good. Sharp outfit yeah, as well. Oh, absolutely. Come on. Yeah. I know. This is the, this Nike, is the key uh, today, Nike Power to to you. Elbow issues over the holidays. <laughs> But we're good. <laughs> so, guys, Thank let you. us know. Uh, let us know what you think. Um, this looks good. I, again, this is where you truly start to learn what a product does. When you go through tests like this, um, over time we will we'll figure Epic Flash out to be for a certain type of mm. player specifically. Um, it seems to be quite draw bias right now. It does seem that way. Doesn't it? Seems to be quite low spin. Seems to be low spin and quite draw by. So for the people who can have the, the spinny cut. It's like the ideal product. They're going to be rubbing their hands together. And that's why when we were yeah, talking yeah. about uh, Sub-Zero with the, the sliding uh, yeah. weight on the back, you know, that might be really interesting. And I can see a lot of people flipping out that 12 for the 16 up in the head weight, making a bigger uh, impact with the, the, the adjustability weight. around the back. and. That player who's kind of been plagued by the spinny cut could yeah. really end up with something quite good, especially since the the Callaway uh, sleeve, the loft sleeve is very adjustable. Yeah, as it's well. one of your favorite ones you mentioned. It quite, is, quite especially well for the player who needs to draw a bit more. It's not get that much built in for the player who needs to fight the the hook. It, you can move it down one degree of loft, so two degrees of face angle change. Yeah, um, not that much, but for the the player who slices it, there's a lot of built in adjustment. Awesome, cool. Guys, hope you enjoyed this. Um, you know, this is the, just the start for us this year. We're, we're going to build upon these mini series and, and obviously product reviews. And we've got so much coming up over the next little while. So uh, make sure you subscribe. Don't miss any of the videos. There's yes, lots and lots of good stuff coming. Uh, hit the notification button and, uh, and don't miss out on any of the good stuff yep, to come. Tons of good stuff coming. Definitely. Guys, thanks for joining us. See you soon.